genetic tests can uncover connections you never knew existed. Revelations like these can upend families with upsetting findings or enrich them with incredible discoveries. That's what happened to Edric McNeary of Chicago in 2017. So it's interesting. So um, I am adopted. Um, and so it's always been a curiosity of mine for most of my adult life. I decided to uh, try this ancestry DNA kit to try and see if we could find my parents that way. And then about a month after we sent in the results, we, uh, we got uh, you know, some, our, our information back. Genetic test companies start by reading the sequence of the three billion letters in your genetic code. Occasional variations in the code serve as markers that make your genes unique. Algorithms identify those who share many of these markers, making them very likely to be close relatives. In McNeary's case, the test revealed a life-altering surprise. Uh, it, it mentioned that there was someone else that had a very similar uh, like parent-child, you know, relationship genetically. And so I reached out like, hey, yeah, I'm uh, looking for a mother. Did you live in Indiana? Like, you know, in the 70s, you know, uh, and actually the response that I got back was actually, this is, um, I'm like, this is for my daughter. I'm actually looking for her father. Well, obviously, I think the first thing was just like, there's no way. <laughs> um, you know, it's just kind of like how, how, I mean, obviously, we know how that's possible. And, you know, if, if I if I had awareness of that, I would have, you know, done the right thing by, you know, taking care of the mother and getting married and all that fun stuff. So after some conversation, um, we kind of realized that she absolutely is my daughter. Um, spit an image. You cannot deny it. It turned out that 17 years before, when McNeary's daughter was conceived, her mother couldn't reach him. When I first moved to Chicago, um, I had aspirations to be in the entertainment industry. Um, that being said, I was broke a lot. Um, and so my cell phone was shut off a lot. And so, um, you know, her mother and I were, you know, we had gone, you know, we had gone out and dated a little bit, went our own separate ways. We actually went to Michigan to meet with them. My oldest daughter now, they have been, they're like peas in a pot. They text each other, they talk to each other. If she comes and visits all the time, she'll be here next week. And we, we get along great. Um, she's my, I mean, she's my homie. <laughs> she really is. She, um, you know, when she comes into town, we go play pool. She has been wanting to find her dad for her entire life. And now she has it and she feels complete. I actually turned on my GPS tracking on my phone so she knows where I'm at all the time. Maybe extreme, but I just want to just reinforce that point that you will always know where I'm at moving forward the rest of your life. I love her. I'm not going anywhere. I'm, I'm here for good. It's a message a genetic test allowed this father to send. Kat Sandoval, Newsy.